Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to graph y minus 1 squared equals negative 2x. And so to do that, I automatically see that my y is squared. So since I know my y is squared, I'm going to want to make sure I know the equation of a parabola when the y is squared, which would be y minus k, not h, squared equals 4p times x minus h. Now remember, the reason why I want to write that out is because I know the vertex is at the point h comma k. And p represents the distance from my vertex to my focus. Um, and then that same direction, in, or same distance in the opposite direction, is going to help me uh, identify the directions, which, uh, which I'm going to need to know to graph this. So just looking at this information, I can obtain that my vertex is going to be at 1, 0. right? I'm not subtracting x from anything, so I'm going to go at 1, 0. Perfect. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and graph that so far. So that's my vertex, 1, 0. Vertex, sweet. So now remember, since y is squared, I know my parabola is either going to open up to the right or open up to the left. So I need to be able to identify um, you know, which way is it going to go. And that's all going to depend on the value of p. If p is positive, that means p is going to go to the right. That means the parabola opens to the right. If p is negative, that means I'm going to, it's going to open up to the left. So to determine p, remember 4p is what you multiply by x. Well, 4p is, is equal to negative 2. So let's figure out what exactly is the absolute value, or what is the exact value of p. So 4p equals negative 2. Divide by 4, divide by 4. p equals a negative 1 half. So therefore, I'm going to go negative 1 half right here. That's going to be my focus. So that's negative 1 half. And remember, that's also the distance of p. Now, what is important about the conic sections uh, for parabolas is the distance from the vertex to the focus is exactly the same distance as the vertex to the directrix. So therefore, I'm going to go another half distance, and this is going to be my directrix. Now, we, so we know that the parabola opens up to, towards its focus, right? The other thing to know, understand about uh, parabolas is they have axes of symmetry, right? And the axis of symmetry goes through the focus and the vertex. The directrix is actually perpendicular to that axis of symmetry. And the directrix is a line. So since we know that the, the x-axis is going to act as my axis of symmetry for this case, the directrix is going to be a vertical line. And when I see a vertical line, well, where does the directrix intersect at? Well, it intersects at 1 and 1 half, which would be like 3 halves. And since it's vertical, I could say x equals 3 halves is my directrix. And the focus is a point. So in writing the focus, that's going to be only over 1 half comma um, 0, right? Because it's only a distance of negative 1 half from the vertex. Um, but that's where that point is going to lie. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the, uh, I'm sorry, that is how you graph a vertex um, and also identify the directrix and focus. Thanks.